All right, before we get started, I'd like to announce the winners of the community polls. It looks like 75% of you voted for satire, and for the topic poll, 62% of you voted for Spongebob. So, next week's community voted video will be a satirical Spongebob video. Thank you all for voting. I hope y'all enjoyed this form of engagement. You know, maybe we can do this once a month or once every two months or something. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Alright. I have a problem. I have an addiction to referencing MatPat over at Dame Theory. I tried not to reference him last week, but I referenced Matt Pat over at Food Theory instead. But not this time. I will not be referencing Matt Pat over at Game Theory or Matt Pat over at Food Theory. Instead, I'll be referencing Matthew Patrick over at Film Theory! Alright! Just a few years back, movie studios faced a huge loss in regards to money being brought in from movies airing in theaters. Now, obviously, this was for a good reason. It was best to stay inside during the pandemic. But, it doesn't seem like any studios have seen the same numbers since before the pandemic. They are not making as much money. People are used to streaming services now and are not going to the cinemas. Now, movie studios that usually pocket the money tend to be greedy bastards, so to them, this just won't do. I think movie studios have developed a genius plan to get people back in the cinemas. But before we get to that, you should check out my channel if this interests you. I upload a new theory weekly and I have some theories in the works that you will not want to miss. Alright, do y'all remember the last two major movies to hit cinemas? Barbie and Oppenheimer. Well, do you remember how you heard about them? Yeah, the Barbie trailer dropped. But I first heard about both movies through memes. People were memeing about the movies, which went viral. Suddenly, we find out that both movies, one a comedy adventure and the other a drama thriller, were slated to release on the same day, and both movie titles just so happened to roll off the tongue a bit too well when combined. Barbenheimer. Suddenly, Everyone was talking about double featuring them, how to double feature them, what order to watch them in. There was a debate over whether you have the existential crisis of Oppenheimer first and quell it with Barbie, or if you have a fun time with Barbie to prepare your mind for Oppenheimer. Crossover memes were everywhere, all over social media. Well, I think movie studios have rallied the meme lords against us in order to get us back into the cinema, in order to convince us it is okay to buy the overpriced tickets and snacks, and I don't think the meme lords even know they're being used. Think about it. I guarantee you, Oppenheimer would not have seen the numbers it did if the Barbenheimer memes didn't pop off. The meme lords just saw their opportunity, since the titles worked so well together and they were releasing on the same day, all of the components for a fun viral meme was literally handed to them on a silver platter, and Big Cinema was the one to hand it over. They plan to see their record pre-pandemic sales again by appealing to meme culture and letting the internet do its thing. Now, I know what you're going to say. I can't base this theory on this one-time coincidence, and you would be right. Except. There is a pattern! Barbenheimer is just the first. May I direct your attention to the end of this month, September 29th to be precise. We have two more movies releasing, and the memes have already begun. We have Paw Patrol the Mighty Movie, an animated family movie, and the horror thriller Saw 10. Saw Patrol, if you will. Two vastly different movies releasing on the same day and the titles roll off the tongue easily when you combine them. Now, wouldn't it make more sense to release Saw in October for Halloween? Normally it would, but then Big Cinema couldn't bank on the meme lords to combine it with Paw Patrol. And speaking of October and Halloween, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, a horror thriller, is releasing on October 27th. You know what else is releasing on October 27th? The biographical drama movie, Sight. Five Sights at Freddy's. Once again, two vastly different movies releasing on the same day, 
and the titles roll off the tongue easily when you combine them. Big Cinema has prepared the dominoes, set them up, and have already started toppling them over. We are just stuck watching their plan fall in place. Their plan to use the meme lords against us. Their plan to make people think it is okay to regularly double feature movies for the memes, for the lols, for the funsies, and therefore get us to spend more money at the cinema, thus lining their pockets. But leave your thoughts and theories in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.